अभी वाक्षुल किंचे गृहेशु गृह मेधिनी धर्म से अर्थ से काम यत्र योगो ही अयोगी नाम ओ माय वाइफ ओ वेरी मच अटैच टू द हाउस होल्ड ऑफ लाइफ इफ द प्रिंसिपल रिलीजन इकोनॉमिक रूल एंड सेटिस्फैक्शन इज आर प्रॉपर्ली फॉलोड इन हाउस होल्ड लाइफ वन्स एक्टिविटीज आर एज गुड एज दोस ऑफ ट्रांसजेंडर आई वांट टू वेदर देयर हैव बीन एनी डिस्क्रिमिनेशंस फॉलोइंग दिस प्रिंसिपल्स सो दिस कश्यप मणि ही हैड uh he's a very powerful personality all the devatas and dhatyas are his children so he is in his trance in meditation and he comes back home and he sees his wife is very sad so he feels very awkward now what to do and he checks with his wife why you are sad because on a spiritual platform these material things should not be sometimes we lose sometimes we gain brahma bhuta prasannatma na shochati na kanshati sometimes by lament okay they lost the power sometimes we gain now in this situation he is asking his wife whether there was any discrepancy he is saying his wife has grih medini he knows she is too attached to household or life are you disturbed because you did not follow some regulatory principle so very nicely organized so there are two margas in the vedas pravritti marga and nivritti marga pravritti nivritti marga is reject no oh. nivritti marga is no you know it's easy in one sense it is easy because problem is over but it's not easy to say no the scriptures say say for so many thing no but we can't do we are attracted so that is pravritti nivritti means no pravritti means yes so you want to eat meat yes you can't say no no request no you want to drink Yes, that is pravritti. No, nivritti. So anything, Vedivasa doesn't say no for anything. And pravritti marga, yes, yes, yes. Nivritti marga, no, no, no. But it is organized in such a way, even though it is rest with rules and regulations. Somebody want to eat meat. So if you want to eat meat, yes, that's pravritti. Pravritti means one follows one nature. a person is not able to go against his nature that is pravritti and kaliyuga generally people cannot follow nivritti nivritti is difficult uh pravritti age bhuta naam nivritti cha mahafala all the living entities generally follow pravritti animals dogs they follow pravritti birds why you are doing i like it that's the reason isn't it that's pravritti all animals birds plants pravritti they follow their nature nivritti is only possible in human form of life uh, and nivritti can immediately give you nectar of spiritual life if you can do it generally in the society people follow pravritti and therefore the rules of dharma artha kama moksha kam for somebody following nivritti धर्म अर्थ काम मोक्ष डायरेक्टली गोज टू कृष्ण प्रेम धर्म अर्थ काम मोक्ष एंड देन प्रेम चेतन महाप्रभु सेड देर आर फोर पुरुषार्थ स्व पीपुल धर्म अर्थ काम मोक्ष बट फॉर अ प्योर डिवोटी कृष्ण प्रेम प्रेम पुमार तो महान इज अ पंचम पुरुषार्थ निवृत्ति मार्ग पर्सन डायरेक्टली गोज टू टेस्ट प्रेम he does not have to go to dharma arth kama moksha does not he what the what's the point why wasting his time just like shukde goswami when he was born vedavyasa wanted him to take through dharma arth kama moksha he said i am not interested he ran away from the home he wanted to do his uh, uh, what do you say namkarana other samskaras the normal samskaras of dharma arth kama moksha he said i am not interested he was already advanced spiritualist nivritti 
he is already rejected he ran away no no attraction uh, that's nivritti marga nivritti marga is generally very difficult to follow and we should be honest also there is bhagavad gita as we discuss the shloka uh, mithya chara sa uchate uh, it is called hypocrite we should not be yesterday we discussed pakhandi pashandi hypocrite these are all similar words karma indriyani samyamya yaste manasa smaran indriyartham vimudatma mithya chara sa uchate very famous shloka of the third chapter it said karma indriyani samyamya is person is controlling all the senses ah uh, ye aste manasasmaran but in his mind is always thinking about indriyartham sense object karma indriyani samyamya ye aste manasasmaran uh, indriyartham vimudhatma that fool that idiot is still thinking about sense object he is called a hypocrite so i must be honest and in kaluga it is generally impossible person should follow pravritti marga nivritti marga is not possible generally so in pravritti marga yes 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 marga nivritti marga no 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 pravritti marga yes is given with rules and regulations some rule reg- oh you want to eat meat yes 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 but this rule is there you have to go to the forest you have to give bali you have to can do only in the once in a month amavasya blah 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 blah, blah. but true proper does not given that because proper the wants to make us vaishnavas that level that those instructions are not there he is not giving such a slow process but in the general pravritti process that's how it is no no uh, you want to drink yes you can drink you have to offer to one devi and you can drink so everything is there yes so these regulations are proper mentions in bhagavad gita are called regulative principles of freedom you know people do not like regulations modern society means regulations is very painful we do not like somebody to tell us don't do this we don't like so regulations are generally very difficult uh, in the society today so people don't like but if you actually study if a person follows the regulations uh, it is makes a person very healthy and happy these are regulations for a happy life scientific very scientific intoxication somebody time people ask propat uh, people find your process so difficult propat what is difficult about what i have given these principles if you follow you actually become very happy person uh, regulations uh, and suppose i climb on a top of a 100 story building and i jump and i say why you are jumping i want freedom that is stupid is going to die after that you know suppose somebody is on 100 floor i say don't jump i say you know why you are regulating me okay jump he jumps he loses all his so called freedom he breaks his hands legs probably dies if he survives he is on the bed for rest of the life so that's called regulated principles of freedom so this is not going to help so in the society generally today regulations are not taught and therefore people are not happy because if somebody is regulated he comes to satguna and satguna is mode of happiness rajaguna is mode of disturb tamoguna is acute suffering and pain and madness it's like life of a fish and animals is you are forced to be in tamoguna and the animals are always in lot of pain and they are very disturbed rajaguna is person at disturb and satguna is happy so how to come to satguna that should be the aim of life before uh, our aim of life is to reach lotus feet of krishna but you should be in satguna because cleanliness is next to godliness only from the satguna platform satyam vishuddham vasudeva sabditam the lord can be understood wisdom comes only in satguna even material wisdom comes in satguna is many purposes to say if people are not interested in god at least let them come to satguna okay you don't want to do anything with god yes we don't we even materially you want to be happy be in satguna so strictly follow the regulated principles if somebody strictly follow the regulated principles even in material life will be very peaceful and happy
Because Satuguna is enlightenment. Satuguna is Prakasha. And when there is light, then things can be understood. In darkness, you cannot understand anything. Tamoguna is like thick darkness. Rajoguna is like light. It's little light is there. Satuguna is bright light. Person gets knowledge. He can understand his position. I am not body, spirit, soul. He can understand the Lord is there. He can understand everything. And now, if he engages in devotion service, he can jump even over Satuguna and experience spiritual happiness. Okay? So this is very nicely explained. So the uh, regulations are very important. And everywhere the regulations have been mentioned. Scripture, dharma means regulation. Dharmena vihina pashubhina samana. If we are not regulated, we become an animal. Regulation is only for human beings, not for animals. Dharma is only taught for human beings. So if somebody agrees voluntarily to regulate himself by the principle of dharma, then he saves himself from so much trouble in this life. And next life, he can be promoted to higher situations. Okay? So human form of life, there is an opportunity to regulate ourselves voluntarily by the rules regulation of dharma. So all the religions are good, but in the Vedic culture, much more instructions are given. Okay, the basic principle of all the religions, basic regulations are same. No intoxic, live a simple life, don't get lost into artificial necessities. These are common principles of every religion. Avoid vices. It's common sense. But if you follow that, the person's mind becomes very, very peaceful. So Kashyapa Muni is checking with his wife whether she is feeling sad. Very simple. If somebody is sad, he is not following regulated principles. Simple. Something is wrong. Somebody is very angry. Somebody is very sad. Something is wrong. What do you say? Falena parichate by reserved, you know. A person should be happy. When Prabhupada was taking class, somebody was sitting very sad. Prabhupada said, I order you to become happy. Why is Prabhupada saying, I order you? Because he should be happy. Krishna did not make us to be sad. Krishna made us Anandamaya Vyasa. Krishna is ever happy. Krishna is warning us to join us in his happy pastimes. So Krishna did not create us to be unhappy. It we create unhappiness for ourselves. Prabhupada says, Krishna is complete and his all arrangements are complete for us to be happy. Krishna has not created us to be unhappy. No. Prasannatma. Krishna created us to be happy. In fact, only when we are happy, then we can understand Krishna. That's also important. Materially, you have to be very peaceful and satisfied and happy. Then you can actually enjoy the scripture. If you are unsatisfied, unhappy, disturbed, then Prabhupada said, as much you may advertise, you are not the devotee of the Lord. Not possible. As much we advertise, Prabhupada said, something is wrong. The devotee should be very happy. And the regulated principles are regulated principles of freedom. When they are followed, the person minds it very joyous. And in that stage, he can enter into spiritual understanding because wisdom will come now. When there is anxiety, there is depression, there is no question of wisdom. Person is disturbed. Just like somebody uh, taking a class, somebody is sad and disturbed. Don't expect him to understand anything. Because his mind is preoccupied with some pain. Person should be light, fresh in the mind, happy. Then he can understand. Oh, it's common, isn't it? Anna? It is said in the ba Bhagavatam also. Evam prasanna manaso bhagavad bhakti yogataha bhagavad tattva vijyanam mukta sangasya chayate. Evam prasanna manaso. When somebody is joyfully situated in the mind, then manasa. Mind is joyfully situated, then he can understand God. So understand God, person should be very joyfully situated. And how somebody can be very joyfully situated? Strictly follow the regulated principles. Okay? Sometimes it will what is there, I can break. I am not harming anybody. I can drink little. I am not harming anybody. I can have little meat. I am not harming anybody. I can smoke little. Correct? But I am not harming anybody. I can have little gamble. You are harming yourself. You are being foolish. The Shastra says, breaking the regulated principles is like camel drinking his own blood. When camel is very, very hungry, what he does? He'll bite thorn in the desert. There's nothing to eat. And his own blood comes from the tongue. Ah, delicacy. So, delighting in sensual pleasures, 
and uh, to the level of breaking regulated principles is actually drinking one's own blood ha hanta hanta vishpakshana masadu proper said they will have very sudden death such people uh, those who delight in sensual pleasures uh, is everything in the auspicious they'll not even get opportunity to think about krishna okay and uh they it will be difficult for them to advance spiritually very difficult so ha chetan mahapru said better drink poison than do all the stupid activities you know ha hant hant oh you want to advance spiritually but you're meditating on the beautiful features of opposite sex and you are enchanted by the opulence of people better drink poison is spiritually so a disaster so if you want to if somebody wants to spiritually advance uh, he and niskinchana se bhagavan bhajor mukhasya paramparam jigimishor bhavasagarasya sandarshanam vishayanam you are uh, oh you are doing all these things better drink poison it will be very very inauspicious so the regular principles are given by the scriptures and dharma means to obey the lord dharmam to shakshat bhagavat pranitam dharma means one voluntarily agrees to be shri shri radha govind ki voluntarily agrees to be regulated by the lord that is regulations are given by the lord or by the representative the great acharyas and because they know the science not only they know the spiritual science they also know material science they know how we are entangled in this world therefore they give us some regulation for disentanglement धर्मस्य ही अपवर्गस्य नातो अर्थाय उपकल्पते नार्थस्य धर्मय कांतस्य कामलाभाय हि स्मितः ठीक है सो इट इज वेरी क्लियरली सेड धर्म इज वेंट फॉर अल्टीमेटली धर्म इज वेंट फॉर लिबरेशन नॉट टू मेक मनी टू एंजॉय इन दिस वर्ल्ड हां सो दैट इज नॉट द पर्पस ऑफ द धर्म पर्पस ऑफ द धर्म इज टू लिबरेट अस फ्रॉम दिस वर्ल्ड दैट शुड बी केप्ट द होल ह्यूमन लाइफ इज वेंट फॉर प्यूरिफिकेशन purify 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 the more you purify more happiness will come and more you become impure we neglect the rules and regulations more you become disturbed okay so this is actually scientific uh doesn't require uh surprise it's very easy to understand anybody can follow and rules rules and regulations have been summarized into four rules no intoxication including no tea coffee no gambling uh including gaming uh no illicit sex including girlfriends movies film songs uh intoxication gambling and no meat including eggs etc okay and we avoid even onion garlic tamsik in nature so these four regulated principles somebody follows guaranteed he will peace so many time devotees ask for proper proper how can i come to satguru proper the strictly follow regulated principles you are in satguru strictly follow theek okay? hai we are lax and oh chalta hai not need it then we are in trouble if we do that theek okay? hai so we do not play we should not play with fire ajamila what happened nothing will happen nothing will happen one minute only one minute i'll just see what's happening and finished he was finished theek okay, hai na so we should not play with fire it's very dangerous so much time will be wasted and uh, at least for us who have come to preach krishna consciousness we are in the shelter of propat propat is very merciful so if you touch fire also he will not leave you you will still be able to chant but you will not be effective you will not be able to convince people to take up the process of krishna consciousness okay so for our own good also for the good of preaching uh, we should strictly follow the regulated principles and proper say is krishna will forgive you once twice how many times krishna will forgive you so therefore we should निमित्र मात्रे न भव सवे सचिन कृष्ण टल अर्जुन अर्जुन यू आर इंस्ट्रूमेंट इन माई हैंड सो प्रेजेंटली वॉट वी कैन डू स्ट्रिक्टली फॉलो रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन बट वी रेड रिसेंटली दैट अवर स्पिरिचुअल एडवांसमेंट इज नॉट इज मोर बाय द ब्लेसिंग ऑफ द आचार्य एंड लेस बाय द रेगुलेटेड प्रिंसिपल्स करेक्ट वी रेड और न फॉर स्पिरिचुअल एडवांसमेंट ब्लेसिंग्स आर मोर इफेक्टिव then following the regular principles correct right? we recently read no the blessing the acharya is more important than regular principles correct right? so we should follow regular principles but also seek the mercy of 
Guru Krishna, uh, then our advancement is very effective. It's not that I am following radio principle, I'll advance. No, no, no. You have to seek mercy. Yeah. Mercy may not be given even if you are following radio principle. Generally it is given, but may not be given. Therefore always we are seeking mercy. I'm, in any way, uh, my even following rules and regulations, there are so many offenses. I am chanting Hare Krishna, I am doing so many offenses. How can you advance just on the strength of that? The devotee who is genuine, who is sincere and serious, knows it's not only sadhana, it's what consciousness I am doing sadhana. Just like Pujari is offering bhoga. What consciousness is offering bhoga? That is more important than just offering bhoga. Just like I am chanting Hare Krishna. It can be Nama Parada, it can be Nama Bhasa, it can be Shuddha Nama. Three stages of chanting are there. Nama Parada, Nama Bhasa, Shuddha Nama. So I am chanting. But wow, how you are chanting? Nama Prada, then no use. Nama Bhasa, keep better. Shuddha Nama, best. So similarly, I am offering Bhoga to Krishna. It may be Bhoga Parada, Bhoga Bhasa, and Shuddha offering. Where full love it is offered. It can be different. We see so many times Krishna is totally uh, controlled by the love of the devotee. But we should know that. That's the way we should offer. So any service we do, not only we do sadhana, it should be done in proper consciousness. So here Kashyapa Muni sees his wife is not able to digest the instructions of nivritti, detachment. So he's giving instructions of property. Okay, worship the Lord for material gain. A devotee should not worship the Lord for material gain. It's not good. Correct? That is highest. Nivritti Marga will never ask anything from the Lord. At any position, he will not ask anything. In any condition, he will not ask anything. He will silently accept whatever situation Krishna keeps him and he will be happy in that. Like Sudama Brahman was always very happy in any position Krishna kept. He came to meet Krishna on the request of his wife. Krishna did not give him one rupee. And coming back, he was still happy. Doesn't matter, it's okay. Maybe Krishna thought that if I get opulence, I may forget her. So he comes back. And there, huge palace is there. Okay. Still he's happy. Not disturbed. The devotee should be always satisfied and happy in all situations. Then he can actually strictly follow regulated principles. And also he should always remember, even more important than following regulated principles, is to seek mercy of the Guru and Krishna. Then our advancement is very quick. Shri Prabhupada ki, Shri Bhagavatam ki,